Hey, what's going on weavers? Tim here again. And in this episode, we will be making a micro monkey's fist by Glary that can also be worn as a bracelet. This is the smallest version of the monkey's fist by Glary that we've done so far. And as a result, it might be a bit harder for beginners to play with as it is a lot lighter. But as a casual set, this one is a lot of fun and easy going. So if you're not fully aware of what these are, they're a really simple pocket skill toy that you can manipulate and do a variety of tricks with wherever you go. So that being said, let's get into it. In terms of materials, I'm using about six feet of paracord and two small ball bearings, which are actually slingshot ammo. I'll have a link for these in the description box down below, of course. To start this one off, I'm going to start at one end of my paracord and place the ball bearing in between my index and middle finger. I'm then going to wrap two passes vertically around my fingers going away from me as this is a two pass monkey's fist. So after those two passes, you're going to change direction and start wrapping two passes horizontally going perpendicular to the first set of passes. Next, for the final set of passes, I'm going to remove my fingers and then wrap the final two passes above and below the ball bearing to complete the wraps. Once that's done, I'm going to start cinching out all the excess paracord out my terminal end. I'm going to remove the excess out from the first set of passes initially, and then work it out towards the running end. Also during this process, I'm going to very carefully hide the starting end of the paracord under the second set of passes. Do this very carefully as to not pull the entire cord out. Now don't feel you have to fully tighten the monkey's fist in this first round of tightening. You can always do a second pass to cinch everything up. So I've got my first monkey's fist tightened up and as you can see the starting point of the cord is nicely tucked and hidden away inside. If you're having trouble hiding it you can always melt your end to a thinner flatter point to make it easier to hide. With that done I'm now going to tie a second two pass monkey's fist. Just like before I'm going to do the exact same method doing two passes on each side. Don't worry about the middle cord being too short, we're going to adjust that later. So finish tying that monkey's fist and then work the slack out to the terminal end once again. And once the majority of the slack is out, you can start to size the middle cord. So I'm going to aim to make my middle cord about six and a half inches long. So initially I'm going to make it about six and one quarter inches and you'll see why by the end as I'll have to move about one quarter inch of slack to the middle once I'm done tightening the last monkey's fist. Now I'm going to clip off the excess cord on the terminal end side of the second monkey's fist. And after I melt the end, I'm going to pinch the ends slightly with some needle nose pliers and make that end as flat as possible, but also flaring it out a bit. Then to finish, I'm going to pull that melted terminal end under the set of passes closest to it to hide the melted end. Then 
then work that last bit of slack back to the middle, making my middle joiner cord about six and a half inches when all is said and done. Now, if this part is too hard for you, you can always just make your middle cord the desired length and then snip and melt and press down on the terminal ends where they are. But you'll have an unsightly melt showing on the monkey's fist. So if you've done everything correctly, you should have a Beglary to your desired size. And that's the standard version. For a smaller and lighter Beglary set such as this, I would definitely suggest you make the middle joiner cord at least six inches and up to six and a half. You can play around with this to find your ideal length. For the bracelet version, just follow the previous tutorial as before up until the second monkey's fist. This time you can make the middle cord your exact desired length. So just put a bend in the terminal end and then make two loops going to the right and then finish by putting the terminal end through the two loops and cinch it tight. Adjust the size of the loop so that the monkey's fist can fit through the bracelet clasp. Once that's done, just tighten up the knot, clip off the excess cord, and melt with a lighter. So there we have it, weavers. Two ways to make a set of micro monkey's fist beglary. These are a lot of fun to play with as you can keep them in your pocket or wear a set on your wrist and take them anywhere. They also make great gifts. Also, if you're not sure how to play with these, I'll have a link to the Around Square and Muscle Bones YouTube channels where there are plenty of tutorials that you can check out. So I hope you all enjoyed this one and we'll try making a set as they are a lot of fun to play with. So that being said, a huge thank you to all my Patreon supporters. If you want access to exclusive tutorials as well as our Discord server, feel free to check out my Patreon page, link in the video cards as well as down below. You can join for as little as $3 a month. You can also support this channel by liking the video and commenting. Also, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to check out what I have to offer on the rest of my channel.